all these are uh, circuit breakers of different ratings. You can see 10 amps, 20, 30, and all that. All these are um, circuit breakers. This one right here is also a circuit breaker. They all perform, um, they all do the same thing in the sense that they are protecting. If you look here, this belly breaker is protecting, it is supplying a particular load. This load right here might be a lamp, it might be a socket. So if anything goes wrong, the breaker will trip and change its position. So when it trips, it changes position to the off state, interrupting flow to this very terminal. Okay, so that is just what a circuit breaker does. It automatically trips off or interrupts a circuit when um, things go wrong. Although when, when a circuit breaker is faulty due to usage, it can malfunction and stop delivering output to this point. So, but under normal circumstances, it, it only trips off when there is an error, let's say a short circuit along this part. Okay, this could be a socket or a lighting point, right? So it supplies this it supplies the hot line to this point while the neutral to whatever load is supplying is picked from this neutral link. So if anything goes wrong in that circuit, this very circuit breaker will trip off, interrupting flow to this very point supplying the load. So this is a clearer view of um, this very circuit breaker. So it has two terminals. One terminal is the input, one terminal is the output. So if you use your multimeter, when this circuit breaker is in the on state, if you test for continuity between these two points, it will be continuous. You get some continuity reading between these two points. So, but when it is in the off state, there is no connection between here and here. All right. So you don't need to manually switch it on or off. If anything goes wrong, it will automatically trip off. So when the load is on, you, you leave it at the on state. So if anything goes wrong, it automatically trips off. So it functions almost the same thing like a switch, just that this one automatically switches itself off if things go wrong. So the input comes here, hotline comes here, then the output goes from here to the load, all right? So it can be a lighting point. If it's a lighting point, hotline from the source will be a distribution board or from whatever source we land here. Then the output from here will go to positive terminal of the lamp, while the lamp will pick neutral from any neutral source. Alright, so if anything goes wrong, maybe short circuit or anything goes wrong, this place will trip. So the supp the hot supplying the positive terminal of your load will no longer be supplied. So this is how a circuit breaker works. Okay, guys, um, this is our digital multimeter set to um, AC voltage 750 volts. So we are going to see how to test for um, a faulty circuit breaker. Okay, so I will place this probe here. good then this is the neutral link okay so this probe is at the output of the circuit breaker so if the circuit breaker is in order i should be getting some voltage reading when i test for voltage across this terminal and the neutral link so this is the neutral from the control and this is the neutral link the neutral is the same for all the load so let's see what happens good so we are having 65 volts ac is actually varying is uh but it shows that this very breaker is working okay sometimes a breaker can be faulty but still remain at the on state so how to know is if you test for voltage across this point and then the neutral point if you don't get any voltage reading then you know that that very breaker is faulty so if it trips off is off right now then if i test for voltage here you will not get any voltage reading okay so if i put it back on and test you can see we have voltage so if a point or a number of points in your building um are not working okay it could be lighting point it could be socket so most of the time when a breaker is faulty it affects not more than one it affects more than one unit sorry so um, there are switches that are being looped and then fed um from one circuit breaker so when that very breaker is bad a group of points will stop working so this is how to test to know if the fault is from from the breaker okay so any points that is not showing you voltage reading that is the very faulty point so but bear in mind if there is a fault short circuit breaching at the load point you have to verify very well before you 
replace the breaker or put it back on. So like as I said before, when a breaker is bad, some breakers can be faulty, remain in the on state, but the output is not functional. So the only way you can test for this is either you pull out the, sock, the, the breaker and test for continuity between the two terminals or when it's connected here and there is light, you test for voltage between the output terminal and the neutral link. So that is it for circuit breakers, guys.